So it's going to be a great day. We're doing a great refreshing dish for you. We're doing lemon cake. We're going to make real cool peaches, caramelized peaches for you. It's going to be good. We've got a little syrup we're going to add to it at the end. Oh, it's going to be a great dish, so we, I can't wait to show you guys. I want to go over here and get started in the kitchen, so come on, let's get busy. This is cooking today. Hey guys, welcome into the show. Man, thank you so much for being with us today. It's a great day. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. We're going to do a really cool lemon cake for you today. We're going to use the muffin tins instead of a cake pan. So we're going to make our own little individuals. We're going to do some cool caramelized peaches as well. It's going to be a good dish. We're going to get started right away with our cake. And I've broken out the mixer here. Uh, if you have a hand mixer, this works really good. The whole trick is to make sure that the butter is real soft, okay? But we're, we're going to get started right here. We're going to add one and a half cups of self-rising flour. We're using this. It, it's got its own leavening agents in there, and, we, you know, we're just not going to add any baking powder or any baking soda. Those are the things that usually we add to it to get it to rise. The eggs will help with that as well. We're going to add just a little bit of nutmeg, just one-eighth of, of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, we're also going to add three-quarters of a cup of superfine sugar or powdered sugar. It, it dissolves so much easier in things like this. It just works a whole lot better. The, the sugar will get real gran granulated. It's just weird sometimes in a cake like this, especially if you're not creaming it with the butter. Okay, so we're going to add our lemon zest right here. We want to get it in the bottom. And we want to take and get all of that rind right off of the lemon. So once we get down to the nice white part like that, that's when we know we've gotten the good rind off of there. And we'll, we'll want to use the entire lemon for this. So just get it turning. And once you get all the way around the middle of it, just kind of turn it on its edges. Get as much of that good zest as you can get. Because this is our, our lemon flavor. It's lemon cake. So we need this for our good flavoring. Just like that. And make sure you get all the good scrapings off of the bottom of that thing. It'll adhere right to there. So just tap that baby and just use your finger and get all that good zest. Okay, and then we'll take our knife and take that lemon and cut it in half. And we're going to get all the juice out of there as well. We need every bit of that juice. Just squeeze it between my fingers just to hold on to the seeds. We don't want any of those in there. Get rid of that guy. We'll do the same thing to the other half. Oh yeah, it smells so good. The lemons are so so alive, so bright. It gives it such a good flavor. The zest just really brings out the flavor in most dishes. Okay, and we'll get rid of that guy. Then we'll add our butter, and you can see, I mean, it's pretty pretty soft. There's even liquid dripping off of it. You want it as soft as you can get it. I would sit it out at room temperature as long as you can. See, this one's even softer. About three quarters of a cup of butter or a stick and a half will work just fine. Okay, we'll wipe that up a little bit. Just like that. And the last thing we'll do is add our eggs to it. So we'll add one, two eggs, and then three. 
just like that. Then I'm going to get the mixer going. Let's get my hands clean one more time. We'll get the mixer going here. Let her down. And we want to start off as slow as we can. I'm going to set it up at one. And that's a slow spin. But I'm going to speed up the, I'm going to get it going a lot faster. We'll speed it up here once we get a good blend going. And the, also the other trick to this is this will not be like batter that you can pour into your cake. We're going to need to use like a spoon to get it into our pans. So we'll just get it speeded up here. What you want to have happen, you want this batter to be smooth. You want it to be fluffy and light and airy. And it takes just a few moments to get that, up, get that going. So you have to really kick the speed up. Just like that. And while that's going, I'll take the other half of this butter, just get my pans nice and greased up. Super simple, real quick, get, get me some butter in the bottom and just rub it with my fingers just so that it'll release, just like that. Real quick, real easy. We have a good, fluffy, really nice and fluffy here. So we'll take this out. You see this? See how beautiful that looks? Real creamy, awesome. We'll get rid of all of that off of there. I'm gonna grab me a nice, big spoon here for this part of it and what we'll do get you a good spoonful of it I mean just a nice heaping helping of it and just spoon it into your dish I mean it'll even itself out but you want to get a nice spoonful of it and get it in there again it's not like your you know your loose cake batter you'll have to use a spoon to get it into your muffin tins you guys when we come back i'm going to get this right in the 350 degree oven we come back we're going to get our peaches caramelized and make our syrup as well for the dish it's going to be so good stick around this is cooking today okay everybody welcome back we have our cake in the oven it just needs about 30 minutes okay once they rise and they come back clean. If you stick a toothpick in there and it comes back clean, you're done. The cool thing about this cake is it'll get a real nice crust on top for you. And it'll also it'll help because you're going to add the peaches. It's a liquid. And, man, it's going to be so good. It help and give you some extra crunch in there with the liquid of the peaches and the butter and all the other stuff we're going to add. And we're going to add it right now, in fact. And I'm going to start, I have a, sh a pan going on the stove, getting hot here. Make sure I have it set up for medium, okay? And I'm going to take one half a stick of butter and put it in this pan. And just get the butter melting, okay? We want to let that start to melt And while we prep our white peaches. And I've already cut one open here. And it's a real simple process. I'm going to just take my paring knife and go right along that natural ridge that's in the peach. Okay, and then just separate it with my hand just to get the pit out. Just like that. And I'll just dig. I mean, if you want to use your knife to cut around, give yourself a little bit of space to work with, that's fine. And just take, pop the pit right out. We'll do the same thing this other guy over here. Just go right along that natural ridge. Come back out the other side. Just pop it in half. You might have to get your finger in depending on how stiff they are, how tough they are, how young a peach it is. The white peaches are can be a little bit tougher, even, even being ripe. Okay, but just get that pit out. And once you get them pitted, what you can do, I like to take my knife, real good sharp knife, and just make myself some good strips with the peaches. 
you use whatever kind of peach you like for the dish as well. But I really like these white peaches. They're real firm. They just have, they, they're good cooking peaches. Okay. Just make us a bunch of strips out of these guys. And the crunchier, the better. I mean, the, the crunchier, the white peach, the better for a dish like this. Because we're using all that good butter and some sugar and making it soft. It's going to be good. Okay, one more here. Just like that. Now, the butter is melt, melting over here. Let me grab a rubber spatula. The butter is doing great. Okay, see that? Once you get it to that point right there, we're going to add to it just one third of a cup of sugar. That much right there. Going to go right in. Just like that. We're also going to hit it with just a dash of cinnamon. Just, I mean, just, you know, just a little playful amount not even an eighth of a teaspoon. And what I want to do is start moving this around right now. I don't want it to sit. I want to just let it get it going. Get that sugar working real, real good. Start to brown process. Okay, just like that. Then what we're going to do is come here with our peaches and go right into that. It's going to release a bunch of liquid for you. And that's okay. That's what we need right here. I'm going to get all you can. You can't go anywhere. You got to get in. Everybody's got to go in. Just like that. And so I really want to just keep these guys moving. I really just want to keep them going in the pan. We want to get them all coated with that good sugar. Before we do any more to them, get that butter all over them while I break out my booze. Okay, right as they get done, we're going to hit it with just a little bit of orange liqueur. But we want to soften these up just for a little bit. You want to get them cooked down. I mean, you want some good caramel. You want to see brown color to the top of these and it'll take just a few minutes, you know, four or five minutes to get them going, but I will insist that you guys keep them moving. You've got to keep them moving in the pan. Okay? Just like that. You see how pretty those are? That's going to go great on top of our cake, I'm telling you. And right here before we go to break, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a couple of tablespoons of this orange liqueur. Give me a little extra sugary going on in there. Mm -mm -mm. You guys, when we come back from break, I'm gonna make a cool little simple syrup to go with this. That's gonna go with this and the cake. It's gonna be a great little addition to the plate. Stick around, you guys. This is cooking today. Coming up next, we'll make our syrup and bring the dish all together. Okay guys, welcome back. Man, we got our cake out of the oven. And just look, I got three of them on a plate right here. You see how crusty it gets? They split open, the top splits. Oh. So good. This is going to be really, really nice. And I got a couple more on a smaller plate or a bigger plate we're going to add to our peaches to. But we got to make a little syrup first because we're not going to use all this juice here in the peaches. We'll use some, but we want to add a little syrup on the plate. Okay, and we are going to use some fresh lemon. And I have been rolling these guys around just so I can get the juice to release in them. Just squeezing them out with my hand. So I'm going to get them cut in half, 
And usually I'll use my hand, but I'm gonna use a strainer for this just because I wanna get all every bit of it. Get the steam really going right away. So we'll get our lemon juice all set up. We're gonna use the juice of all three lemons. And it smells so good coming back at me. Mm -mm -mm. We're just making a real easy syrup. Get all that juice out. One more. Just like that. Every bit of it that we can get out of there. Okay, we'll add these guys right into there so we can get rid of it. And we have three quarters of a cup of super fine sugar. It's a lot easier dissolving. Got my rubber spatula right here. A lot easier dissolving sugar. Just better to, for this dish. Okay. That's pretty much it. The only other thing I'm going to do to it, I'm going to add one good tablespoon of orange liqueur just for some flavor. Just like that. We're going to let this start to cook down. We want to get some color going on with it, but we want to let it just become sugary, just syrupy, thick, rich. Just blend it in, just to dissolve the sugar. And the longer it cooks, the more that sugar is going to dissolve for you. Okay? So we're going to grab our plate right here with our cake on it. Give me just a second to get rid of these couple things. Okay, get a little wipe going right here. We're going to start plating because I can't wait to get into this. Just keep an eye on your sample syrup. Once it gets boiling, man, you should be good. And we need a plastic spoon because we used a non-stick skillet for our peaches. And they are just beautiful, good and soft. Mm -mm -mm. So we'll take our peaches. We're going to go right over the top, just like that, of our cake. Just like that. Mm. They still got the skins on. That's OK. If you want to peel them, you go right ahead. But I like leaving the skins right on them, just like that. Add a little few to the plate, just right around it. So good. Okay, now watch what we do here. We'll take this syrup. Just make sure it's good and ready. Just give it a spin. You see all those bubbles going on in there? Once I take it off the heat, It'll smooth itself out. All those bubbles start to go away just like that. You got a good little syrup. Mmm. That is so nice. What I'll do, I'll just add me some of that lemony syrup right over the top of the peaches. Just like that. Mmm. It gives you some on a plate. Gives the plate some good coverage. And watch what I'll do here. Where did I put my cinnamon? It's right there. What I'll do here, I'll take me a good little pinch of that. Just dust my plate up with it. Give it just some hints. Just that smell. Oh, so good. Look at that. Just a good little garnish. Look at the love we put on this plate. This is lemon cake. We did caramelized peaches and made a cool little syrup to go on top. Made with so much love. Man, I can't believe it. It smells so good. I cannot wait to dig in. I hope you guys try this recipe. This is cooking today. Mm -mm -mm.
great lemon cake. Mmm, great cake. It turned out real, real good. We did some cool peaches. Man, they, they're so good. They're sweet. They got some good love to them. A nice syrup to go with it. We did three great components to the dish. Man, turned out really good. Really excited about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you try the recipe. Join us again. We're going we're gonna to keep on doing our thing. I love showing you guys great recipes and cooking tips. I love showing you the neat little stuff. I'm Stephen Brooks, and that's Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by Tyson Foods, proud makers of Tyson fresh and frozen chicken products and toned seasonings. We make the meal. Grill provided by Sam's Club. Life is better in the club. Appliances provided by Metro Appliances and more. Cookware and serveware provided by World Kitchen and NWA Restaurant Supply. Food provided by Tankersley Food Service. Produce provided by Kimball and Thompson Produce Company.